has been mentioned as the Vice Chancellor of the University of Hyderabad. Of course, he is the student approved Vice Chancellor of this university and not an RSS appointee. Like, he is not the Chamcha of RSS like uh, Appa Rao. Uh, Pere Swami is a native of Tamil Nadu, India. He had his early education in schools and colleges in and around Sri Viliputur, St. John's College, the American College. He did his PhD in Organic Chemistry at the IASC Bangalore. He joined the School of Chemistry, University of Hyderabad later. He was the Vice Chancellor for University of Hyderabad since February 2016. He is an intellectual blended with the relations of humanism. He also is the first OBC Vice Chancellor for University of Hyderabad and transcends all caste and class barriers to establish the principle of humanity through fraternity. I now invite Professor Pereya Swami to come and give his lecture. Thank you very much for your uh, kind introduction. Uh, let me first thank uh, Prasant for uh, uh, inviting me for today's function, uh, celebrating uh, Ambedkar and also paying homage to Rogit Pamela. Uh, I agree fully with you that uh, Sri Rogit Pamela sacrificed his life. Uh, it, it's a kind of a, to me, it is a kind of a Dalit uprising. So it, it is not just. Uh, Maybe he should have stayed with us and lead. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate he passed away. Uh, and also, um, um, see, we, we have been put into uncertainty, uh, you know, say, since then. Uh, I do hope these uncertainties will be uh, over soon. I was just asking Professor uh, Ratnam that when these uh, things will be over so that uh, uh, you know, all of us will, will, will you know, will be peaceful and uh, uh, continue with our our academic and research work in the university. Um, there has been some, uh, you know, kind of uh, emails going on between faculty members and see whether uh, we can convince the uh, all the faculty members. To, to realize what is going on and then make an appropriate decision uh, soon. I do hope that happens uh, because as a university we are, we are very, very strong. Uh, we knew from the beginning, uh, but somehow the message has not gone to the government of India. Uh, I thought, uh, see, had, had I been there for a few more uh, weeks perhaps, uh, you know, see, Things, you know, see, I would have at least represented to the central government that the university, when it is closer to uh, so-called institutes of higher education, you know, say, a national importance, uh, institute of national impo uh, you know, importance like Indian Institute of Science and the IITs, uh, whatever they have, it should be available to all our students also. Uh, higher fellowships, uh, especially, and, you know, see, uh, see here, the whole thing is uh, our faculty members, students, we have the reservation policy for both uh, uh, SCST, you know, see, uh, categories and also the OBC category. And then when you make, you know, I don't know why we are not addressing such questions. That is, why we are not, national, you know, see, institute of, or university of national importance. When we are as good as uh, IITs, why we are not, see, that means that if you have, if you strictly implement the reservation policy and if you have more than, say, 1,000 Dalit students and then perhaps, uh, uh, you know, more than or, you know, say, that number, the OBC students, why we are not of national importance? That means that, we, you know, see, the, the teachers are paid less, the students are uh, getting less scholarships here from the central government. Uh, 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 you know, research college especially. So these things cannot continue forever. Uh, you know, I do hope, you no, know, see, we resolve this uh, the current uncertainty soon so that we can concentrate on such, uh, you know, say, questions. Uh, you cannot have national importance. You cannot, uh, you know, for example, Indian Institute of Science, there is no reservation for Dalit faculty members. There is no reservation for Dalit research scholars there. I do not know whether uh, you appreciate those. It is very important that uh, people like you came here and doing research. 
you know, should, should make sure that the message goes to the central government. So, what I would say that even after the uh, uncertainty ends, especially about the university administration, uh, we should continue our uh, struggle and make sure that central government realizes that, you know, we are not a university which is not important. It is a very important university. And in fact, we should convince our own colleagues, our own colleagues who are there, who do not belong to, uh, you know, background classes or SCST to realize uh, through us, uh, or, you know, see, or not only, you know, see, because they are here, they suffer. Uh, for, there are two things, you know, I, I would like to mention here. One is scholarship programs, where our students get 8,000, there is also uncertainty about that. But I was talking to uh, MHR Joint Secretary, there is a very, very important issue. Uh, you know, they should be paid same as this uh, 25,000 because they come through national entrances, all our students. And, uh, you know, they come from the lower middle class, uh, so they, they can support their family better, say, after their uh, MSc and MA degrees. So, in fact, you are very much accepting, you know, say that the things are under consideration. I don't know at what level it is there. Hopefully, uh, along with us, the other general category, faculty members and students will join, so that together we can, you know, see, approach the central government to rectify this. Because, you, you know, a university which earned its name and also the rank, along with closer to IIT, are almost the same as IITs. Uh, we cannot be, you know, see, we cannot sacrifice uh, something, you know, say, like comfort for our own uh, families, especially the, the households of the students who come here. So that is very, very important, which I thought of uh, passing an academic council resolution and sent to the government, uh, but that didn't happen. Uh, the other one is, I, I don't know how many of you realize that, uh, see, in the lecture post, the entry point, uh, there is no 30,000 scale, which actually IITs and IAC they have. Again, they, you know, see, we, we, we can, our faculty members, for example, as an institution, say we should be also, you know, say, compete with other institutions uh, to keep up our standards. So not only in SC, ST, OBC, it also for general category. There should be a 30,000, uh, you know, say, basic uh, uh, pay uh, at the level in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the level. So where people, people here join with some 15, 16,000 basics. So that's not the right thing. So when, the, when they have PhDs, especially when they have postdocs, or when they join freshly and then three years uh, they spend here as, say, assistant professors, the next scale should be given after, you know, see, they, uh, they have proven ideas, you know, so it can be always go through the committees and all. So I have been uh, arguing with uh, Dr. Asnain when he was vice chancellor. See, that's so that, uh, you know, see, 10 percent, 10 increments and all came. Uh, you know, so then later some, the UGC did not accept, you know, there was a lot of problems actually. There are many things we suffer. Uh, I have been questioning some of the MHRD people. Uh, just because, you know, this university implements uh, reservation, you cannot uh, treat us, uh, you know, at the lower level. We are as good as IIT, so we should be having the similar, you know, say, setup. Uh, one can always, if you think uh, Indian Institute of Science is, uh, uh, instead of national importance, you can give more uh, uh, facilities and all, but the basic, basics like uh, scholarships, uh, entry level, you know, see, salary should be as good as them. That is very, very important. Uh, in fact, that is one issue that which I would like to uh, talk about in the next uh, one, one, one and a half years I will be here. Uh, so that, you know, at least some justice is done, which was not available to all of us. All of us joined, for example, when I joined, I joined for 700 rupees basic, whereas IIT, IIC had 1,200 basic at that time, okay? Uh, it, 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 you know, today it may look 500 rupees is very small, but those days it was very big, actually. Same as this, the same discrimination continues, and uh, our university showed that we are as good as them, and we cannot accept less than that. That is very, very important. I do hope this, uh, uh, the current uncertainty ends and then we, central government was fairly, you know, at least the secretaries whom I, I was talking to and I was visiting those days, uh, in fact, I remember when in the first few days after uh, uh, Rohit Vemala passed away and there was a discussion with me and uh, 
after you, you know, you gave your demand, they very accept, you know, they were very much accepting. So only now we need to pass resolutions in appropriate forums of the university and make sure that, you know, see, we get, you know, see, the, so otherwise, you know, sacrifice by Rohit, Rohit Vamula, uh, you know, see, there is no meaning of that unless, you know, we get better deal for, of course, for the SAST students and also for all. So this is very, very important. In fact, uh, this is one way, so I would like to approach my other colleagues. See, we have, see, the, the government says that we are a second-rate university. That means, you know, see, we are not, you know, see, national important, the, your institution is not national important, and then the university itself is second-rate. We cannot accept that, okay? And we are inclusive, but we show that, you know, see, we are actually number one in the, you know, universities in uh, sciences and humanities and social sciences. We can, uh, of course, uh, the new, uh, you know, see, medical sciences and other things have also come. So we have to enrich our university. So we cannot accept that we are secondary. It is very, very important and hopefully uh, we will, the, the, the general category faculty member students will realize what I am saying and then unite and then make sure the uncertainty is over and we make sure that the central government gives proper treatment to not only to the SAST students and OBC students, to all. So it's very, very important. Uh, we, we have to make sure that happens. Uh, uh, so with this, uh, and then, I, I, of course, I am always with you. Uh, and I also think that in the long run, so those of you who are fortunate to come here, uh, it was nice to hear the, the General Secretary of the Association, Ambedkar Student Association, mentioning about education. They were, though it wanted everybody to be educated. Uh, it is very, very important that uh, we help those who are not educated also. In fact, uh, uh, I was uh, telling in this NSS activity, you know, the, the NSS uh, coordinator that we should also see whether we can uh, have a training center inside the, inside the campus where we can bring people from, say, perhaps 10 Telangana districts uh, the poor people, the, the below poverty line household, mostly SCST and, and OBCs, uh, bring them and then train them income generating schemes. So, so these are the things we have to think, that is uh, in the long run. Uh, uh, this is very, very important, uh, especially to help the below poverty line households who live around us. Uh, I have my own project on this pending with the central government. Uh, hopefully that will be cleared. Uh, so that is very, very important because what I think is, uh, you see, professionally, see, this one thing I like about these IT people, you know, the uh, information technology people, they change the culture in the sense that, you know, so, uh, they, you know but that is not available to all of, uh, you know, all actually. So less than 10th class qualified, that is absolutely not available. So once you cross plus 12, you can do, there are many things available for a, for a, for a uh, young person to come up. I want to see whether, you know, the less than 10th class, most of the, the, the below poverty line households are like that. And, you know, kind of have a training center which will train people to, in income generating schemes. And this is very, very important. Even ITI and all, you need after 10th, you know. See, this is something any poor person, you know, see whether uh, we can bring and train. Mostly they are SC, STs and uh, OBC. So this is very, very important. This is another activity. Personally, I would like to involve myself uh, if I live long enough. So uh, I do hope you know, all, of, all of you should keep in mind that Ambedkar work for all of us. And then, of course, we have to live, we have to work for uh, the, the people who are not fortunate to come to the University of Hyderabad, okay, because they are poor or because they are not that well educated. So with this, you know, see, I would like to uh, kind of uh, uh, request you to, in whatever you do, you know, it is more easy to sustain peaceful activities. Okay? That is one reason why Dr. Ambedkar was, you know, like Mahatma Gandhi, did not get into, uh, you know, see, any violent activities. See, I request you to be peaceful, that is more sustainable, and we have to struggle and then make sure that whatever we dream, you know, comes true for the downtrodden, especially SCST, OBCs and other poor people. It's very, very important. In fact, when I was 
talking to someone in the vice chancellor's office uh, in those few weeks, you know, so I was telling them that we are supposed to solve the problems of the society. The university is not established just for the sake of our comfort, you know, it is for the comfort of the society and we quarrel each other. It is not good. I do hope the administrator, administration realizes and then they, they do not treat the students the way they have been treating and I do hope, you know, see, our university will be peaceful in the near future. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you.